Hi there, welcome back. In the DaVinci Resolve edit page, we can create a compound clip to convert multiple clips into a single object in the timeline and edit just like a single clip. And today, we will create some cool nested transitions with the help of compound clips. To create a compound clip, select the clips you want to convert, either they are placed one after the other in sequence, or stacked parallel to one another, right-click one of the selected clips and choose New Compound Clip. In the New Compound Clip dialog, enter start timecode and a name, or we can simply use the default values and click Create button. A compound clip is created and replaces the original clips in the timeline. A copy of the compound clip is also added to the current bin in the media pool. Now we can transform the clip, add effects or grade the colors just like we would do with any other single clips in a timeline. For example, we can resize the clip, change the position or rotate. Add a drop shadow effect to the compound clip, we can see that all four clips have the shadow applied together. If we want to add borders to these clips, we can apply the essential outline custom effect that was created previously. We can adjust the color and the thickness as we like. To make changes for only one of the clips inside a compound clip, we can right click the compound clip and choose open in timeline. And we can now edit the individual clips as needed. Once we are done, we can double click the timeline in the path control to go back to the original timeline. In this timeline, we have some clips in sequence. Drag the oval iris transition from the effects library and apply to the edit point between video 1 and 2. Select the transition and go to the inspector, open the transition tab. Set the border width to 15 and change the color to blue. Set the ease mode to in and out. Play the timeline, we've got a smooth oval iris transition with a zooming blue circle. Right click the transition and select copy to create a copy of the transition. Move the playhead to the middle of the transition. Press Ctrl M to add a marker, name the marker Edit Point. Select Video 1 and Video 2, right click to create a new compound clip, name the clip Blue Circle. Make sure the playhead is still at the marker position, press Ctrl B or Shift X to split the clip. Select the Edit Point and press Ctrl V to paste the oval iris transition we copied earlier. Select the transition and go to the inspector. Change the color to green. Set the border to 30. If we play the clip, we see only the green circle transition, that's because both transitions have the same duration. Change the duration to 1.5 seconds. Press forward slash to play around the transition. We now see both the blue and green circles during the transition. Select both clips in the transition, right-click and create another compound clip, name this one green circle. Again, we split the clip at the marker's position. Paste the transition to the edit point in between. Select the transition and go to the inspector. This time we change the color to orange. Set the border width to 45. And change the duration to 2 seconds. Play the timeline, we now have a nested oval iris transition with 3 color borders. To make the transition more interesting, we can continue to create another compound clip. 
Split the clip. And apply the warp transition to the edit point. Play the timeline around the transition. And the transition looks pretty cool. With this technique, you can combine different built-in transitions together to make your own unique transition effects for your projects. Here is another example. I combined two edge wipe transitions and one slide transition together and created a slide transition with multiple leading color bars. To add some motion blur effect, we continue to create another compound clip. Split the clip and apply a blur dissolve transition between the clips. In the inspector, set the duration to 0.4 seconds and set the ease mode to in and out. Now we have made a blurred slide transition with multiple color bars with four simple transitions nested inside each other. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.